My name is Cynthia Cherry, and I am a mother of a son that was killed. My name is Michaela. I'm a sexual assault victim. My son, Machetto Garrett, was a humble, sweet young man, caring, giving, loving. That day, I was scared and confused. The weeks after that, I just remember being sad and feeling really by myself, just lonely. It's like I was just isolating myself. I was in the house a lot, like I didn't do anything, but it just dug me deeper. But I know looking back on it now, I had a lot of people on my team. You just can't go around just taking someone's life for no reason at all. And I prayed and asked God to give me strength to forgive those that took his life. It's a process. It's not gonna be over the day after it starts. It's not gonna be over a couple weeks after it starts. It's not gonna be over a year from when everything starts. You know, for a mother to lose her kid, it has been very, very difficult especially during the holidays when I have that empty space there, but he always will live in our hearts. There are bad days. There's a couple bad days. It's, it's not easy. You're gonna have your difficult days. You just have to be willing to keep pushing through it. You gotta have faith in order to get past this. You just gotta have the support. You can't do it alone. The law enforcement and the advocates and prosecutors and everybody that's involved with the whole process, they're going to be your safe haven. That's the best thing that I can say. They are the ones that's gonna have your back before anybody else. Everybody made sure that I understood what was going on. Everybody included me in the decisions that were going on during my case. It was so thorough and so, so detailed. And like I said, everybody was in my corner. I didn't feel like it was me against him. It felt like it was everybody else handling it against him. Because they went step by step every moment, every step that they took. If I had any questions about anything, they was always there for me. And that really makes me feel good to know that they are still standing behind me in a situation like this. Just to know that they really care. It's not that they just did the case and forgot about it. At the time, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't feel like it was because he was facing five charges and was only found guilty of three. But looking back on it, yes, justice was served because he did end up with life sentence. I'm so glad I ended up going to court because I feel like if I didn't go through with the trial, I would be in a totally different place emotionally. And I thank God for Douglas County serving justice for these two young men that took an innocent life for no reason at all. I made the decision that I wanted to be vessel, I guess, for girls that are going through the same kind of thing that I went through a couple years ago, and it just kind of brings me peace to, you know, talk about it more and help other people. I may have went through the situation, but it wasn't supposed to end with me. So, my story is not for me, that's why I'm here. <laughs> Knowledge is power. Did you know that crime victims have the right to be notified, to be present, to be heard, and to be treated with fairness and dignity? If you are a victim, our office is committed to giving you the support you need as you go through this difficult journey.